Link 2012. Hello everybody, uh, we are back for some more Descent. Now, as some of you might notice by one of my video descriptions, my internet is not working. It uh, turns out there was a limit on my internet. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be recording episodes of Descent like I was originally doing um, instead of streaming it. And actually it looks like the game runs a lot smoother right now when I'm playing it on my own. So that's going to be really exciting. I'm not sure how much editing I'm going to do for this. I'm guessing I'm not going to do a ton. But we'll definitely have to see. Actually, let's go put our heads away. Um, if you guys are watching this later... <laughs> I probably haven't edited it that much, but if you are watching it uh, pretty recently, I guess that's all a matter of relevance, though, uh, of relativity, though. Because what do I mean by soon? Well, I'm recording this on June 10th, so. Okay, so we have this. Oh, so we still have sewer keys. We still have hope. Oh, we do want to keep Rich Man's Horde there. Right, we are gonna take a lot of this. Um, boom. Boom right there. Right, so we're gonna do a lot of enchanting because we have 108 levels. Uh, I'm gonna drop a lot off. So maybe actually, you know what I can do? Is I can go ahead and jump to when I'm done doing everything. Or I can record it. I don't even know. So we're going to go ahead and put hope down here with our special items, because this is a very special item, to be completely honest with you. I'm not sure if we should use it or not. It's 19 attack damage, versus we... Once we use a strength potion, we'll have more damage. The question is, of course, with armor, what do we want to do here? Seeing thorny leggings, legendary. We can see how good this does. We'll we'll have to see, because I do like the extra speed on this, and the attack damage is really nice. The more attack damage we can have, the better. Right, we've got some more diamond armor. We've got a lot of diamond armor in here, actually. Um. Man, it's been so long since I played this. I keep doing it where I take like two week breaks from Descent, and then I do almost an area. <laughs> well, part of the problem is, is that I've had a lot of work. Lots and lots of work. I've been working like crazy. I think I worked 90 hours over the past two weeks. It's been crazy. Okay, I was, I was confused because I thought that we had too few emeralds. Yeah, we missed one so far. One emerald so far, and uh, we only got two from that area. So we go. We have an emerald block now. Let's go ahead and place that. Okay, and we can go ahead and turn the render distance up a little bit. I think, uh, simply because the game's going a lot faster. I just restarted my computer, and what was I going to say? I am not streaming. I'm recording at 720p though. So this is going to use up my space like crazy. We're going to general Awards. Alright, so we have options. We can get soul food, which I'm honestly really stoked for that. I really hope we can get that. That would be really nice. Oh, wait, what Minecraft version are we on? Okay, good. I was really confused because my phone's not showing. We have the basic exchange, which will allow us to get pretty much any enchanted book we want. And will allow us to exchange for some other stuff. And we also have the keep inventory thing. Now, keep inventory really won't be helpful for us. It, it'll be nice, but it's only a 30-something percent chance. What is it? 37 percent chance. So I'm thinking basic exchange or soul food. Now, are we going to get a lot of kills in this next area? So we, what do we have left? We have this. We have glitched. Ooh, glitched is going to be a fun one. We have most of the books we want already, and we have a lot of enchanting bottles, so I think we're going to do basic exchange soul food first here, and then we'll do basic exchange. We'll also see how far I can get today. I'll probably cut, I'll probably record just a really, really, really long session, and then I'll just cut 
whenever I want to end an episode. Um, my episode will probably be either 35 minutes, 30 minutes or 45 minutes. We'll see about everything. Okay. Let's go ahead and get back to the residence. I'm glad we're done with these torches. These torches were pretty eh. It was an interesting feature, but I'm done with it. I can't stand that for more than an area. And I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad I only made people put up with it for an area. Okay, what do we have? Healing. Sweet. We have a lot of panic potions here. Let's keep a meditation and a panic potion on us at all times. Uh, special. I'm going to put the antidote in there. And this is what? So the stuff we typically take with us, I guess? I don't even know. I, I forget. Oh, I am going to keep these, though. Should I keep ender pearls on me? Really, no, I shouldn't. We have a lot of really nice blocks here. We don't need... Ooh, we got knockback resistance on those. Put this away. Put you away. You away. I need to keep a few ender pearls on me because I there are some places in these areas where I might want to teleport around. Then again, I'll probably get... Does this have an affinity? Yes, it does. I don't even know why I keep arrows. I think I'm gonna have. I think I give players bows later on that are really nice in terms of power, but they don't have infinity, and you can't enchant them. So that's gonna be a keepsake. What's up with this diamond pick? Oh, it's just a diamond pick. Okay, that's nice. So we can enchant this. This is gonna be one of the things we enchant. I'm guessing. Oh, holy smokes! Do we even need to enchant things? Oh, we have sharpness 4 on this. I'm surprised we don't have sharpness 5. All right. Punch 2. Power. Holy smokes, that book is great. All right, we're going to take care of everything first, though. So keepsakes. Where am I keeping my keepsakes? I think down here. Yeah. So we have all this sort of things. All these sort of things. CTMs are always interesting, because most of the time you really are spending uh, doing inventory management like this, unless you're really rushing through everything. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I, I used to watch a lot of Etho Slabs. Etho Slab? Etho. I loved Etho. I watched all of his things, and it's actually sort of sad. I, I stopped watching him after a while, um, as I got older, and I had a lot going on. And so I, I haven't really been, I haven't seen any of his recent stuff. I hope he's still doing well. <laughs> but anyways, he would play CTMs from time to time with uh, some of the Minecrackers. And one of the things that was always a little bit annoying, that's efficiency five, was that they would run out of stuff. <laughs> so what would end up happening would be that the, the CTMs either wouldn't provide enough stuff or they just wouldn't, they would die a lot or they wouldn't get as much gear from all the chests that they could. So that, that came back to bite them a lot of the times. But here, I am on the other end of the extreme where I grab absolutely everything. Perfect, we got all we need. Uh, and as a result, you know, we have the situation. And I think we really only need three. Light. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take that out later. Food-wise... Eh, why not? Let's go ahead and take some more. Okay, this should be good. Uh, we don't have any speed potions. I'm thinking we probably should grab some speed potions. I don't know if we have any here. They are pretty rare, to be honest with you. The uh, in, the 
these ones, the extended ones. Alright, let's go do some enchanting now. We want a bunch of books, first of all. We would like a diamond pick, some of these diamond pickaxes. Because you never know when, uh, when you're going to run out. We really don't need to enchant swords yet. Do we have any special items, though, that can be enchanted? Nope. We could enchant some ivory. We could enchant some more diamonds. Oh, this is a legendary chest plate. Just like the one I have on right now. That's very nice. And we could... We couldn't... Oh, we don't even have... I'm surprised we've enchanted all of our bows. So really all we're enchanting is enchanting books. Which we don't have a lot of. We need to go get some more books. <laughs> I, I never figured that we would need more books, but apparently... Apparently we do. Okay. I don't even know what I want on a chest plate, to be honest with you. I do want silk touch if we get a pickaxe. Is there anything I could enchant? Yeah, we need a lot of this stuff. So, we can enchant all the way down to level 30. Oh, so really, yeah, we only need a stack. Okay. Perfect. Feather falling, I will take that. Although I think we have a lot of, the, of feather falling. Efficiency for, eh. I think blast protection on the chest plate would be good. Okay, so we really don't have any good enchants here, it doesn't look like. Let's just get, grab the book. Respiration? Oh, we could use some respiration. I don't think we have many respiration items. Protection 3? No. Let's go ahead and grab it. Okay. Protection? No, we want blast protection. Ooh, knockback. We don't have a lot of knockback books. Go ahead and grab that. Knockback 2. Fortune 2? No. Oh, there we go. Blast protection on our legendary chest plate. That looks very nice. Oh, that's a mixed bag. On one hand, I really don't like thorns, but on the other hand, we did get pretty much what we want. So we can go ahead and replace this chest plate with this one when we want to. We can't really use thorns right now because of the thorny leggings. I think only one thorns item at once gets used. If I remember, if I remember right, uh, we really don't need more feather falling after this protection. Eh, silk touch. I would like. Oh. I'm breaking three. Well, what do you know? I said we don't need more feather falling, but we keep getting it. So, do we have unbreaking down here? Yeah, we got all the unbreakings down here. I will gladly put that in there. Yeah, we need more books. Fire protection. Ooh, fire protection is pretty rare. Can we get silk touch though? No. Okay, let's go for fire protection. Smite. Eh. Unbreaking three. Smite. Let's get smite. Unbreaking three again. Looting. Actually, looting's pretty rare. So I'm happy with that. Sharpness. Unbreaking three. I know I'm being a little bit wasteful here. But you do have to consider the fact that we've got over 100 levels here, thanks to that fairy. Yeah, let's go get some more books. Do we have any... Where's our axe? We better have a good axe in here. Chest bopper, popper. We've also got this one with pretty much unlimited inefficiency. Yes, this one's the 9000 version, so it's slightly better. Where are the books? I think there's some in here. There better still be some in here. Because I know we did mine out a lot of books in here. Okay, let's get a few stacks, because we will definitely go through all these in due time. I think my scrolling's working properly again, which is nice. I know that last episode I was complaining about how my scrolling would sometimes scroll too much. But yeah, now it's working just fine. So, funny story. 
I actually haven't been able to use my computer for the past week. For more than one reason. But I'll, I'll explain both of them. So here at the camp, the electricity here at the house is very old. And as a result, what ends up happening is that we get a lot of power surges because we're overloading. We're, we're, there's too much voltage. And so at first it was fine uh, because it didn't happen. We weren't using a lot of voltage. Very, I was the only one here. But now we have, I have two roommates. Wait, am I putting this in armor? Yeah, okay, good. And I have two roommates and there's people in all the other places that are connected via the, whatchamacallit, that are connected to the same line. Uh, so I can't use my computer because my computer, I do have a surge protector, but it won't work for some reason. Oh yes, yeah, Depth Strider 3. My computer will shut off no matter what it's in. I've tried expensive ones. I have a friend who's getting a really, really nice one. So hopefully that one will work, but we'll see. They are planning on fixing it soon though, the issue, which is nice. Now that the, the reason why I couldn't use my computer at all though, was that eventually one day I just came back and it, when it turned on, it gave me a screen that said, uh, press delete or F2 to enter BIOS settings. Uh, not, not in those exact words, but you get what I mean. And when I pressed those keys, it didn't enter the settings. And I was very scared because I wasn't sure what was going on. Uh, I figured that it might be... Okay, I'll split this in bows, actually. It might be because of the fact that I'm using a wireless keyboard. And I called up a, a computer friend, and he said, yeah, that's probably the problem. Um, but my other worry was that it fried my hard drive, which would have been terrifying. Fortune 2, where's Fortune 2? Tools, okay. And so I got a non wire I got an actual one of the old keyboards and it turns out that it worked and now I can use my computer again which is nice. Now of course nobody's at the camp right now because it's the weekend and I'm one of the few people that stays here during the weekend. So I'm going to use the take advantage of this time to record and I'll probably end up uploading this during the next school year. I reorganized my entire hard drive to where uh, I have videos that are ed unedited, videos that are edited and ready to upload, and just footage in general. So we, I'll be using that. We really don't need Bane of Arthur pods. I can't. There are a few places... I really should have made an area in this map where it's just spiders. Just 100% spiders. And Bane of Arthropods would be killer in that area. Although I think I give players some absurd swords with uh, some crazy Bane of Arthropods am am amounts. And it would not be so great if you could one-hit kill everything. Alright, so that's the fun story that I, I gave while I was enchanting a, billion, um, a bunch of things. I think we're ready for the next area, to be honest with you. Actually, we have too many golden apples. There we go. That's still a lot, but it's better. Let's go ahead. I really should grab some light because it will make my, me faster. And hopefully I'll be able to focus a little bit more on my commentary now that uh, now that the game will be a smoother and I'm not streaming. 
Okay, I don't want trans. Oh, I don't even have torches on me. Perfect. Okay. Oh, wait, I don't want to do that. All right. Stop lagging game. Eight, seven. There we go. Okay, so your goals. Point the chest. Yeah. So this is Harrowbrin's mansion originally. And that's about it. I really loved Harrowbrin's mansion. It, it it's it was one of my favorite maps back in the day. I think it was Hypixel's one of Hypixel's most successful maps too. I was always really bummed that we never got Harrowbrin 3. I mean I was actually working on that project for a while. Um I won't I won't spoil anything, although I'm not sure if we're, it's ever going to get done. Uh, we got pretty far. The issue is that a lot of it was lost because the uh, Resus is rarely on anymore. It's been so many years. Like, yeah, it's been years. That's how long ago um, the idea for Harrowbrand 3 is. And, and that's just how long it's been for Hypixel's adventure maps. I mean, how long has Hypixel been around for? Like, four or five years? It's nuts. Nuts. All right. Infinite Reserved is always coming up with the latest, most influential technology. Unfortunately, you do not have access to it. In order to reach the monument head for this area, you must pass through one of Infinite's special auto-repairing doors. Rumor has it that many of the concepts behind Infinite come from sacred ancient texts. If you are able to find all of these books, then you may find a way to access the end of this area. I'm not sure if access is spelled correctly there. Goals. Find all three of the sacred books in the mansion to figure out how to pass on to the final part of this area. Twists. In this area, all experience orbs are worth 10 XP. Use the bottles of enchant use of bottles of enchanting is futile. Oh yeah. So don't use bottles of enchanting because they're worthless. Not worthless, but worthless. No! No, okay, so I had this, there was this bug in development, and I thought I fixed it. I stinking thought I fixed it, but I don't think I did in the end. Oh, great, we need to pick up on strength, really. Yeah, these guys are lagging a little bit. They're not jumping. They should be jumping. Oh, no, bless you. I didn't mean to hurt you. Maybe it's just that the redstone's not activating. Alright, so we're gonna reduce the video the render distance to seven. Oh yeah, this is more like it. Alright. Alright, get on over here. There was a bug where it would act as though you collected the books, so it would give you that text, you know that text we just saw. Um before you actually found them. And I thought I fixed it, but apparently I didn't because it just said we got a book, even though we didn't at all. Let's go ahead and take a look at this area as a whole. All right. So, I mean, we can't look that so far right now. It does not appear that there's anything on top. Although I remember there being something over here. I'm not sure if I utilized it or not. Oh, maybe that's another map I'm thinking of. Oh, yeah, that's a... What am I thinking of? I'm thinking of Herobrine's Return. It does look like there's something on top of that tree. There is something on top of that tree. There's light up there. I'm not sure how much of the forest we want to explore. Alright, so... Oh, yeah, we have the... Oh, yes, I remember we have the beetles here. I think that's what they're called. Not it's not a reference to the Beatles. <laughs> oh, nuts. Hey, they work properly though, so that's a plus. Ooh, yeah, and this is this is a lot smoother than the previous area, which is nice. So they will stomp on you, and it will do a lot of damage. I think it's potion damage, so you can Oh, and they have fire arrows too, that's nuts. Um What was I saying? So protection is the best protection against them. Protection is what really protects against um, that sort of thing. Okay, and we have some amplified cheesy potions, which are nice. And we have a philosopher's potion. I'm going to go ahead and drink this since we have so many. Perfect. Oh, I want one of their heads.
Yeah, this is laggy. This is way laggy. They drop some nice stuff, though. They, they drop Unbreakable Ivory, which is quite nice. I'd imagine that we'd get some really good bonuses if we used Ivory. Oh, we have Goo! Alright, th throw this on the ground to slow mobs. We are gonna take Goo, because it is. I think it's pretty exclusive to this area. I can't remember for sure. And it is moderately helpful later on. It might even, it's actually technically helpful here, too. Oh, boy. Alright, we're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. Hey, I like the challenge. This is this is not easy. Right. Okay, those are my arrows. Oh, there's a diamond block there though. So if we want the diamond block, let's do the let's get the let's get the diamond block. Right, but let's go around first. Clear out a bit of this. One hit kill. Yeah. It's more like it. I'm talking about. I think I set it up to where you couldn't one hit you could one hit crit kill a mob if you had all the best stuff. But then of course I didn't consider for uh items that I added later on, like the beacon head. I was considering for the legendary shop and strength potions. It's funny how the balance changes as you go through the map. Although I did I do think I stuck to the commitment of no more than two rows of health. Except in the case of, uh, I think Bredio is the exception to that rule. For obvious reasons. Ouch, they have thorns. Right. Well, they're dead, so, okay, good. This is challenging. This is a lot more challenging than I was expecting. I guess we really need better armor. We currently don't have the best armor. Ouch! Okay, let's take some of it down. Oh, that was E, not seven. All right, let's light it up. Hey, there's a house right there. So this will decrease their spawning a bit, which is nice. Ah! We did get- oh, we did get the- the- the saturation on kill. So we should get some saturation here if we kill some of these fellows. Even if we kill a bat, I think it gives it to us, which is nice. And I'm pretty sure the skeletons have weak- the beetles have weakness at a distance, which is nice for us. So when you get close to them, they get, uh, what is it, resistance, so that way it's easier to hit, hit them with a bow. Because there's nothing, there's no enchant that is, like, melee protection. It's all projectile protection. All right, there's nothing under there, so it's just a di just one diamond block. Eh, I don't think it's worth the effort, personally, because we already have so many diamonds. But, you know, for a lot of players, at this point in time, they might need those. Let's go in here. Alright, so this is Squeaky's Shop, Potions and Charms.